Hello, sparklers, and welcome back to Ignite Your Spark with me, your host, Kim Duff Selby. I am grateful that you have tuned in as I'm grateful every single time because you have a million episodes of podcasts to listen to. And thanks for choosing mine for inspiration and to help you ignite your spark. Today, my guest is Dr. Hank Seitz, better known as Dr. Hank, and he's a mental scientist who helps people become their greatest possibility. Oh yeah, people, let's get into it because we all want to be the best we can be. We want to shine our lights, Dr. Hank, even if we can't. So welcome to Ignite Your Spark. Well, thank you so much, Kim, and you're just amazing. I love the Ignite Your Spark, and we all have a spark within us, and, uh, you know, it sometimes can get dim, and it, it gets dim because of what I call a committee, our little committee members in our head, and um, the only devil, if you will, the only thing working against us is this little chattering voice, you know, the one that you wake up at two o'clock in the morning, and it's chattering. And, and then it's judging you. You know, I always say to people that, you know, out of the billions of people in the world, there's only one person that bad mouths you the most out of all of them. <laughs> and, and it's us. And so we've actually created this. And uh, as you mentioned that I'm a mental scientist, so I know how uh, thoughts do become things. In fact, all of science has uh, proven just within the last like six years, they've all, all the discipline, uh, quantum physicists, molecular biologists, neuroscientists, they've all come together and recognize that for us to create anything in our life, that it just takes three steps, just mm -hmm. three easy steps. And the first step is with our all powerful thought. And so when we look at our thought that we actually have 60,000 thoughts every day, Kim, and out of those 60,000 thoughts, about 80% of them are committee member thoughts, unwanted, negative thoughts. And with only about 20% of being wanted, you know, like, oh, I'd like to uh, go out and, you know, have more fun. I'd like to smile more. That, uh, and we have to ask for it. And so back to the science that they say, you know, it all starts with our thought. Well, goodness gracious, no wonder why some of us aren't shining our light as much and aren't as happy as we want to because we have all of these bogged down thoughts. And they come from, you know, all kinds of places, from uh, us as a child being brought up to think silly thoughts like the root of all evil is money or, <laughs> you know, um, that uh, watch out for strangers. And they said it with such fear in their voice because of what they were vibrating and what they were thinking a stranger would do. And that's why, like, America's number one fear over and above death, if you will, is uh, uh, public speaking. And because we're speaking in front of, of strangers. So it really doesn't matter where it's come from. Uh, of course, turn off the TV, don't watch the news. I spend millions of dollars trying to find bad things, unwanted things that gets you to start thinking about, oh, the world is bad or whatever. And this world is really whatever we make out of it. And that this world has everything we want in it and everything we don't want in it. And we get to choose. And yeah. so but most of us don't realize that we have this power with our thoughts. So it's our all powerful thoughts. And then those thoughts, according to scientists, create energy. And so the whole universe is really energy. And we, with our minds, have the power to uh, use the energy that creates worlds, okay, to be able to create our life. This is how powerful that that we are. And so step two, these, these thoughts create what the scientists call energy, which you and I would call our emotions. And this is why our feelings are so important, because it's really our communication system to our higher power, if you will, that it's not the English words or Spanish words or words whatever language, that's really an ineffective way of communication. The perfect way for us to communicate is through our emotions, because it really says where we are. That's why if I say something like, um, 
I am rich and I'm not, let's say, and that, um, that, you know, and, and why won't that be accepted? You know, why your emotions going to be saying, I'm really not rich. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, am, I am rich. And that really, you're saying, oh, I'm not rich. you know, I've been telling myself forever, I don't have enough money and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And um, so our thought creates this energy, our emotions, and then those emotions, that energy creates what the scientists call matter, M-A-T-T-E-R. And this is why thoughts become things. Now, science always has had a great reputation for leaving out our higher power and call that whatever you want. Right. Non-physical, right. God, universe, whatever that, you know, we all have a higher power. And, you know, if you don't believe that, just why don't you just pretend to believe that? Because you'll see the magic will start start happening when you just start asking for what you do want. There's someone listening and someone not only listening, but instantly receiving your prayer, if you will, your thought, and then responding and answering. And so that's why all of our prayers are answered. Uh, but, uh, you know, people will say, but Dr. Hank, you know, my prayers weren't answered. You know, the money's not in the bank, the cards on the, uh, the garage, the person isn't in the bad, you know, whatever that, uh, and the fact is that we actually, there's a couple more steps that the scientists forgot about. So when we think about that, it's as a science, it's actually five steps, but we only need to do two steps. And so it's very simple, very easy. We can literally, each one of us can improve our lives right now and become a, a brighter spark, if you will, a light of the world, become, be walking down our lighted path. And that is, so here's the five steps. First step is our thoughts. So we need to do that. It automatically turns into your emotions. So you don't need to do anything about that. That emotion is your communication, your signal, if you will, to your higher power that says, here's what I'm thinking about in this. Here's what I want, my prayer, if you will. And instantly your higher power in step three receives that, your prayer, your thought, and answers it. And so now it's sitting in energy form and it's ready for us to step in and do step four. And again, I've helped hundreds of companies from Fortune 100 companies to entrepreneurs to thousands of people around the world, written 18 books on this, that, uh, and and it, it plays out every time if you'll just allow it. And so step four is, that I need to Abe it. And Abe is for allow, believe, and expect. So when I just will allow it, in other words, no more resistant thoughts, uh, you know, thoughts about what I don't want. I have so many people that come to me initially and they fight for their lack of limitation. And they go, really, Dr. Hank, this is what's happened. This is how my relatives are. And this is how my job is and my bank account. And see what we've been uh, taught, uh, Kim, is to focus on what's happening in front of us. And we've been told that what's happening in our life, what is, is that this is reality. But what did I just share? That reality all starts with my thinking. So actually the result, the matter as the scientists say, that's just old news now because it went to thought emotions to my higher power and then I allowed it in, believed it, expected it. And then I received it, ask and you shall receive. And so we have this tendency and we've been told, you know, face reality. And like when people say to me, you know, Dr. Hank, would you get out of La La Land? Which, by the way, all of us want to be in La La Land. Yeah, of course. <laughs> get me there. Yeah. <laughs> because when you're there, that then you start creating it and it actually becomes your quote unquote reality. But my response to people when they say, you know, get out of Dr. Hank's La La Land and when you face reality, I say, there's no way I'm ever going to face reality. I'm going to create it. And this is the power that we have. It doesn't matter 
what you're thinking about. If it's the past, the present, or the future, whatever you're thinking about, you're going to get more of it. Yeah. I mean, I just want to ask a quick little question. So it's the power of manifestation, which I totally get and I totally believe. And I think at this point, I just want to ask you, because you are so positive and you are so you know, inspiring just in your words. But I like to ask my guests, but how do you like ignite your spark if you're not feeling it that day? Because people want to know how they can, you know, sometimes they love to see and hear examples of people. How do you, you know, this fabulous Dr. Hank, mental scientist, tell tell us. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I want to give you a gift to you and to all of your wonderful, good soul listeners out there that I um, I have what's called a joy shop. And so if you contact me, real easy email, drhank at drhank.biz, B-I-Z, or you can even text me, 214-753-7201. That... And if you ask me for the joy shop, what this does, and again, thousands of people around the world have benefited from this, then what it does is it's the first thing in the morning that you'll read this joy shop that I'll send to you. And then there's three things that I'll share uh, there on what you start writing down. And what it does is it improves your mindset. And so so that is one answer on what you do, but I want to get more specific and answer exactly what you see. I channel with divine intelligence. And so I don't have to do anything. Like I just, I'm just a conduit. So I just sit here and then the divine intelligence gives me the perfect answers and solutions for myself and for others. And that's what, what I do. That's my passion is to be able to share that good news and the answers and solutions. So, um, that let's say that you wake up and you're not feeling very good, you know, you're not feeling that spark, you know, whatever. The first thing is don't pay attention to it. <laughs> Putting energy into it. That, it, oh man, I can't believe you, I'm not doing it. And that becomes your prayer now, if you will. And I don't have the spark. And so your higher power says, no problem. I'll make sure you get more of not having your spark. <laughs> and so, see, and this is all so simple and so easy. And once you get this, that, you know, and, and usually I, the people that coach with me, that were, you know, it's just a few months, they get it and they're off and running and, and, we're off to you know helping more people and um so that's number one but if we take a broader perspective of this and understand really what's going on here that see we couldn't wait to get birthed into this world that this world has everything we want and everything we don't want and we have to brush up against this what we don't want when i don't feel the spark in order to, and here's the technique, and again, do this technique and you'll see it'll change your life starting right now in this instant. You simply point to it, don't give it any energy. So we'll use the example, don't have the spark. And I say to myself, that's what I don't want. So it's not good or bad, okay? It's what I want, what I don't want. And it, it, it makes it more intimate that way and it makes it more obvious that, oh, that thought is what I don't want. And the other cool thing is you don't even have to monitor your thoughts, just monitor your feelings because your higher power is responding back to you to letting you know whether you're on your lighted path based on how you feel. When you feel bad, you're not thinking about this topic the way Mm. the power is when you feel good, you are. So I'm not feeling good because I recognize I'm thinking about, oh, I don't have my spot. So I simply say, This is what I don't want. And now I ask in this ASA for us to start asking and for us to ask instead of trying to figure it out and, you know, hit that down, I'm going to get that spark. Forget all that stuff. The meek and inherit the earth and the meek are once it's a, this is what I don't want. I turn the other cheek and I ask, what do I want? And you will see instantly 
the answers start flowing into your mind. I'd like to, uh, I, I talk about my seven arch, our seven archangels that I have an intimate relationship with, like Archangel Michael and, and all seven, and I communicate with them every day and they're here in the room, they're with us right now. But right when you ask, all of them, along with all these other angels, this positive wanted energy in the universe, goes out and is gathering all kinds of things to give you what you do want. And so what do I want? Hey, I want to feel better. So, you know, that's all you need to do. And they're going out, they're gathering people, circumstances, events. They're giving you thoughts that will give you what you're asking for. And so I got all I need to do is start asking about what I, for what I want. And so that's an easy, a easy, you know, kind of overview, but let's do a real story and let's do it last week. Last week and in my life. And so last week I, um, I've had for about three months, I've had a groin hernia. Okay. Your intestines come out of there. If you know what. <laughs> and, um, and so um, I go to the doctor and the doctor says, hey, you need surgery. So last Tuesday, I had surgery at about four o'clock in the afternoon, okay? I didn't tell anybody. You know why? I don't want to hear about, oh, I'm sorry about you. There's something to story about, okay? I have an answer and solution. I don't honor the God of other people's opinion that I honor only one. And I call it, instead of being a PP, a people pleaser, <laughs> You, we want to be a GP, a God pleaser. In other words, a higher power on, on that's the only opinion that matters. And you can go and have everything you want. And you can have that spark at any moment, in any instant. We have the power to be able to have your spark that you talk about, to be able to feel good. And that is to just start asking for it. Okay. So I don't tell anybody about, about the, uh, the surgery and um, at, in the hospital, I have a blast whenever I'm in the hospital, okay? I like the doctors come in and they say, hey, you know, you might get this infection and, you know, you might get this. I mean, they're saying these silly thoughts and why they're saying this because they believe this stuff. I don't believe yeah. one word of it that I know what I want, okay? So when they tell me, you know, you could get a serious infection and maybe die and I'm saying, okay, that's what I don't what do I want? And so then I just get so fired up about, man, this is going to be a magical operation and all my angels are going to be in there. And next thing I know, I mean, I have the nurses in stitches, okay, talking. And it's not like, you know, I'm going there to be the comedy guy. It's just, I'm going to go have fun, you know, in my life. Okay. Yeah. So, so I had a blast in the hospital, in the surgery. It's no big deal. They lift you on the operation uh, operating table and you don't remember a damn thing. <laughs> you, know, the next thing you, do, you know, you wake up and you're awake and, you know, you're fine. And so people say, oh, and then they said, yeah, you know, this will be two weeks. Remember, this was just last Tuesday. This will be two weeks now that, you know, you basically, you know, don't be walking, don't be moving around, don't be doing anything. You know, we just want it. And I'm thinking like, that's what I don't want. What do I want to do? Hey, I want to get up. I want to dance. See, you know, I want to walk around and raise my arm. And so I'm doing all that. I was walking the next day. But it's because of the power of my thoughts, our thoughts, that we have the power to overcome anything or whatever anybody is saying, any doctor or whoever, and to start having it the way we want it. And we literally have nothing, Tim, that is working against us, is, is um, you, you know, trying to make it difficult on us. And when we see the blessing in every moment, to include the contrast and the stuff we don't like, when we recognize, oh, that only helps me to build the energy of what I do want. So today, I'm more healthy, healthier and younger and feeling better than I was a week ago. Oh, so beautiful. You know, I think that that is something so important. I never listen to the news. I really don't. I'm not a news listener. You know, it's just not in my wheelhouse. And also what you said, I think, which a lot of people have a little bit of confusion with when they're on their manifesting is you're not supposed to give or whatever uh, focus to what you don't want. But I like how you phrased it in saying, okay, I don't want that. So you're acknowledging and then what do I want? That's such a much better way of doing it because I've always been, okay, I know I don't want that, 
don't focus on the don't want. And, and your mind gets really confused. But if you just give it that little tiny bit of acknowledgement, it seems yeah. Yeah. from what you're saying, which I'm learning so much. And I feel like I'm, you know, I've studied manifestation without realizing it my entire life. Right. But yeah, I don't want that. So what do I want? I love that. That yeah. is so powerful. Yeah. And I hope everybody, you know, really realizes it gives you permission because so many people will say, don't use the word don't, 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 you know, don't use it. So you get afraid. But if you just say, I don't want it, now what do I want? And sort of push that aside. I love that image that came to me of just like, okay, bye bye. You go yeah. away now. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Just like a little kid, you know, this committee wants to get in and screw your life up. Okay. And, and most of us believe that we own these thoughts that, oh, no, it's true. And you don't have to own any of those thoughts. Okay. And that you can go on and move on to, again, asking what, what do I want? So let's go to another thing. Archangel Michael, I have an endearing relationship with him. Just love that guy. And I actually went to seminary school to understand how does, uh, four years of it, to understand how does God, whatever, work in what? But I have lots of business knowledge and experience. I have a lot of mental science and helping people experience for 30 years. That, but you know, how does God work? So I found out at, at my seminary when I, at my ceremony of uh, graduating from seminary school, being or an, an ordained minister, that. Um, I felt the presence for the first time I'm really knowing it that it was Archangel Michael. And um, and then I had some a very small audience, but they were very spiritually connected with their source, with their higher power. And um, and afterwards, two of them came up to me separately and said, Oh, we saw, you know, it's so exciting that Archangel Michael was with you. <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh, I just oh. love this. And you know, other people feel this energy, and you know, it's it's just more confirmation on knowing that the non-physical is really what makes everything happen this physical thing that really oh, everything comes from our thought okay and it's only inspired action that we need and so there we really don't need much action because we're going to just give an inspired action where it's going to be easy back to Archangel Michael. So in my relationship with him, he shared with me that his major focus, he's the master of manifesting. So I call him in every day to do it. I'm independently wealthy, live the life of my dreams, travel the world, you know, do everything that I want, help people become their greatest possibility. It's just awesome. And I am one of the reasons is I call upon him, but he shared with me that he said, you know, there's only one thing in the way of humanity from realizing all of their dreams. And I went, wow. I mean, I'm like a little boy, just, you know, kind of listening, big light, you know, tell me, what is it? And he said, well, it's actually fear. And so the most powerful loving energy there is, is love, which we actually all are when we take that ego, that committee and everything off, when we take the chains and locks off of our heart and stop being guarded, there's nothing to be guarded upon, that we're just pure love. But the second most powerful uh, energy that creates is actually fear. And so I started to ask, well, tell me more about fear. And so fear is actually two acronyms. Probably you've heard the first one, not sure about the second one, but fear is false evidence appearing real. And it actually was proven by the insurance industry that uh, they were looking at, they want people to live longer so they could pay, pay their life insurance premiums. It should be called death insurance premiums. <laughs> and um, uh, and so, um, so they wanted to find out why are people dying and you know get into this. Well, they found out the number one, uh, the thing that kills people is heart disease. Okay, And they went and they looked at heart disease. What is kill, uh, doing that? And they found out it was stress. And and they thought, well, where's the stress coming from? And they found out fear. And they researched it. Spent, they invested millions of dollars on this. And they found out that, that this fear, most of the things that we're fearing, never even happened to us. Okay? But they prevent us from moving forward and having what we want. So the way that you had just described so eloquently, uh, Kim, on that, you know, that th this is an easier way of doing it. And, you know, because you face it, right? Well, uh, and you just said, this is what I don't want. And, you know, bye-bye. That 
So fear is that also an acronym for face everything and rise. Ooh. And this, okay, say that one more time. Face everything and rise. Ooh. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> And so when we face it and say, this is what I don't want. And then I say, what do I want? And I rise above all of that chatter, all of that committee member, the, what I call the drunken monkey, okay? Because it really is. It's insane listening to the dumb stuff it says. You know, these doctors were saying like, oh, yeah, and, you know, one of your, test your testicles might stop working. You know, and I'm going like... <laughs> You're fucking mine. You know? <laughs> you know, that's what I don't want. You know, I'm going to be just fine sexually, digestively, and everything else. You know, we, and so we just call it the way that we want it. And don't listen to the outside world. Don't listen to uh, 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 other people that uh, don't be affected by anything that happens other than be uh, impacted over recognizing when you don't want something, what you do want. And then knowing that you have the power to, you know, give me better feeling thoughts. One of my book is, uh, books is called Good Feeling Thoughts. And it's like seven, which is spiritual number, seven good feeling thoughts every day. And so you open it up to, you know, January 18th and, and they're the seven. And people have read that and just have gone beyond where they've ever been. The other um, a book I just completed, but also program, which is meditations and, and videos on all of this, that it's called Walk with God. And the initial, because I think your listeners are, are a little bit more aware, if you will. And so initially it was on uh, channeling with divine intelligence. And then I thought, you know, I need to really, really incorporate more people to be able to know this news. And so for your listeners, it's actually channeling with divine intelligence, but it'll teach you how to channel with divine intelligence and be able to get all the answers and solutions that you want. And again, that's on my website, whatever text me, I can, you know, send it to you. And uh, so there we go. There we go, uh, Kim, that, uh, that I hope, I know that this has ignited your spark. Ah. And for you to be able to take this and now go have fun with it, go play with it, go enjoy life and see the magic, see the divinity in every moment. Oh, so beautiful. So beautifully said. I feel like we were just gifted with this beautiful, inspirational uh, talk by you, which I am so grateful for because I'm just sitting here listening and listening and so many thoughts and things come up because I'm a questioner, an interviewer, a talker, you know, I just, I, I really can't wait to listen back and absorb even more. One or two things that came to me is people tend to give, and I've said this in many of my episodes, give their power away to doctors, yeah. to whether they're holistic practitioners or traditional Western medical doctors. And we tend, and myself included in this, and now I have stepped back just over the past year, okay, take this supplement, drink this juice, do this, without really thinking, do I really want that? Because we want a higher power to tell us what to do. We want someone who's been through medical school and had 20 years experience to say, this is what it is. But I think it's most important to listen to ourselves. And I think the gift that you have given the world with writing the book, Walk With God, is to listen within and to listen to what we, because yes, they do know, they do know, I did not go to med school. I don't know all the things they know, but we also have to listen and say, is that really what my body wants at this time right now? Absolutely. And to be guided on that, and since you're a little on health, it just uh, two quick little stories. So I had a, um, a Chinese acupuncturist and you know whatever that he contacted me and I I went to see him for him wanting me okay that and he said listen I have lost my zest for life I'm 53 years old and your energy level I'm 69 years old and your energy level is like a kid you know and how can I get that back and so yeah so know that you know hey the doctors they don't know this uh, the, the that's stuff. right them but more importantly and it's all fine you know on, on whatever that they do but here are the three steps 
to improve health that you the only thing you need because see you're exactly right kim we're on our own separate path that what happened what was right before uh, that for other people whatever it doesn't matter what matters is where we are right now what's the perfect thing so here's the three steps to uh your good health and you'll have good health like i i do and i i do i feel like a little kid you know and you can too physically mentally I, every day i say i'm getting younger every day and i have people say to me you know you look younger than you were you know five years ago on video or whatever and i <laughs> I asked for, but most people are so oh, I'm getting older and you know, blah blah blah. And and remember, you focus on a wrinkle, you'll get more wrinkles. <laughs> you know, so here's the three steps, and it's really easy. Everything's easy, by the way. That uh, and in God's world, if you will, that uh, the first step is, and the most important is to have good feeling thoughts. When you have good feeling thoughts, you'll be led to the perfect, whether it be do a doctor or you know, holistic doctor or whatever it is, but good feeling thoughts. And the second one is deep breathing. This idea about our breath. And so I have three different ways of breathing that actually is in walk with God that will take you and literally you'll be flying with all that is and your angels and everything within about three minutes. And, um, and so, so this, and, and, but the one main breath is just breathing in five seconds, breathing out five seconds and doing it six times. Uh, you just need a minute to get all this energy and momentum going where you want to. So if you don't feel the spark this morning, say, hey, within a minute, I can. That's what I don't want. What do I want? I want to feel good and breathe deeply. And then the third step is drink lots of water. You know, it's like, this is how easy all this is. And we made it way too complicated. And you will attract the thoughts that you need. You will attract the people and the circumstances and events that will make your life become magical. Oh, I love it, Dr. Hank. And it will ignite your sparks so that you can continue to ignite sparks the world over. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Hank, I really appreciate your time today. It was inspirational, motivational, sparkly and has really encouraged me and inspired me right now because I have to have like this little medical thing tomorrow too and I'm like I'm great I'm fun I'm good everybody out there know you too can be great fine good healthy happy and holy and you just have to believe it yeah so Dr. Hank thank you a million times and people can find you at drhank.com or Dr. Uh, Hank? Dr. Hank, and then my last name is Seitz, S -S -S okay. E I T Z dot com. But you know, just call me 214 753 7204 and uh, we'll get together and have a party together. <laughs> oh, you're so generous. Thank you. I will put all that in the show notes so that people oh. will have the opportunity. And I can't wait. I'm going to go um, right now and get two books Good Feeling Thoughts and Walk with God all because right. they sound, I'm always up for reading and learning and seeing different ways of manifesting. So thank That's you. That's great, Kim. And uh, up on that website, drhanksites.com, uh, is the actual program for Walk With God that I, that it's just way more impactful because instead of a book, it has the right. many and you know everything so you know check that out i appreciate you love all of you and know that all of your dreams can now come true oh thank you thank you thank you ignite your spark people and have a fabulous day shine on